Hi everybody, it is Cinco de Mayo, and I'm going to start doing a song that I'm sure I don't know and haven't probably played in 30 years. But be that as it may, guess what we saw yesterday for the first time ever is an indigo bunting. And it was a life-changing uh, experience. And we, of course, looked up the bird book and everything to be sure what it was. And it's indigo. It was, it was Kathleen's number one on her list of birds she hoped she'd see. And the bird is blue, but sometimes we noticed that it looked black. And so when we looked it up, it said that they actually are black, but somehow the way the light refracts off their feathers makes them appear blue, which just... Okay, so here's a song I don't know at all. Wrote a long time ago about spring. It's called Spring. Fancy shirt. This is a fancy shirt. What? Yeah, I. Bix will be appearing in a minute. I, I just keep doing this and not just talking. There's a thaw beneath the falling snow, and the geese don't know which way to go. There's a warm wind blowing round the bend, and the days are growing long again. I will go down by the river, watch the cold wind, and gaze across the water. Oh, all day. There's a bird rehearsing on a wire, and the soft green underneath the bright. There's a hazy ring around the moon. Coming soon, and I will sail out over the ocean and stare down into the sea. Feel the warm salt wind of salvation blowing through me, and I've been down for too long, baby, and I've been up all night. Cinco de Mayo. One year when it was Cinco de Mayo, I woke up and on the way down to the kitchen to put on the tea water, I was already singing. This never happens, never happens. And mm, what I found myself singing was, it's Cinco de Mayo in <laughs> Ohio. And I thought, oh, I gotta find a town in Ohio that sort of rhymes with Cinco because I want to write that song. So I looked in the back of the atlas. Remember that it was a big book with maps in it. Looked in the back of the atlas. And there, under Ohio, there was a town called Mingo. Great, it's Cinco de Mayo in Mingo, Ohio. Got it. But I realized that was going to be a very short song. So I needed to add something to it. So I needed to find something out about Mingo. So I got online and I Googled Mingo. And oh, not a lot going on in Mingo. There's no schools, there's no movies, there's no hotels. Ain't nothing, except apparently Rod Serling. But it's a farm town, thank God. But still, I am... Um, couldn't find any information about it, so I, um, I found a house for sale in Mingo. And then I studied the weather in Mingo for a while. And then I went back and looked at the house again. It wasn't even actually in Mingo. Nothing's actually in Mingo, so. It's Cinco de Mayo in Mingo, Ohio, northeast of Dayton, an hour or so. And all I could find in an hour online is one house for sale, so I'm not gonna go. There isn't a restaurant or a hotel, no movies, no schoolhouse, no groceries as well. The business is farming, it would be alarming were that not the case in so quiet a place. Right now it's sunny, there's 60 and clear.
garden is balmy for this time of year. I got back online, gave the house one more try. It's not even in Bingo, but some town nearby. So on Cinco de Mayo in Mingo, Ohio, it's all old McDonald, E-I-E-I-O. Happy May 5th. And here is Bix. Hey, bud. Stage time, stage time. No time for being a puppy. You got to get up and show the people. He really is big now. He weighs about 50 pounds and he's four months old. What? Woo! Woo! And one air stands up and the other doesn't. And we love him. Thank you.